Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey from Antelope Audio. In this series, we're working on a guitar-led rock track using some of my favorite plugins in the Antelope Audio Synergy Core range to take our basic tracking session to a final mix. This time, we're going to add the Comp 4K bus processor to help glue our track together. So as the name kind of suggests, the Comp 4K bus is designed to be primarily used on your stereo or two bus and on instrumental group bus or master tracks. Well, in this case, we have it on both the drum master bus and on the main stereo or two bus. The Comp 4K bus plugin has all of the normal controls for a British style bus compressor. Next to the large gain reduction meter, we have the controls for the compressor's threshold, attack and ratio. Below these, we have the makeup gain and the release time. We also have a bypass switch. Next to this, we have the sidechain filter, which allows you to reduce or eliminate the effect low frequencies have on the compression, and the mix knob, which allows the 4K bus to be used for parallel compression. We then have the traditional auto fade out time and the trigger, heard on so many famous records. There are many stories about hardware bus compressors of this style that were set up on the day they were installed, and some settings have not been changed since. It is true that many a mix engineer has their preferred settings, a common starting point would be the fastest attack, a ratio of 4 to 1, and then auto release. You then just have to adjust the threshold to get the desired amount of gain reduction, then bring the overall level back up with the makeup gain. So let's have a listen to the drums soloed. We'll dial in the compressor, then bypass it a couple of times so you can hear the glue at work on the drums. To my ears, a gain reduction of no more than 4 or so dB is required to tame the dynamics and get that magical glue effect, helping the drums sound like one cohesive instrument. Now let's add a little EQ to the drum bus with the VEQ56 and adjust it a little to bring out the good stuff and tame the bad. Now let's add the 4K bus to our stereo master. Set it to my default settings and dial it in to give us around 4 dB of compression. I don't want to slam the master or dig me into a dynamic hole that no mastering engineer can get me out of. Now let's play back the full track and bypass the plugins to see and hear the total effect we've created with just three different plugins.
So I really hope you've enjoyed this look at how I've used the Classic American EQ bundle, the Opto 2A and the Comp 4K bus to mix this track and that you can now apply some of my ideas and processes to your mixes using Antelope Audio Synergy Core plugins. My name's James Ivey and I hope to see you again very soon.